So the reason why we did the study was to have a better prediction whether patients should go a treatment that is potentially lethal uh, or, or not. And for this, already there are several markers that can predict the outcome. But now we have a new set of markers, and these are genetic mutations. And we want to use this potential new information and see which of these markers can actually be used to predict the outcome. So we collected patients that were uh, undergone, have, have undergone transplantation, allogeneic transplantation from four German transplantation centers, a total of 304 patients. And some had an MDS, some had a secondary AML following MDS. And uh, in these we profiled 54 genes and looked at the prognostic impact of these genes. Uh, the most important findings are that indeed we identified four mutations that can predict the outcome after transplantation, and that is the NRAS mutation, mutations in U2AF1, uh, uh, TP53, and IDH2. And what we confirmed is that complex karyotype has a very poor outcome when patients are positive for this. So regarding frequency of the mutations, we, the only difference was that TET2 mutations and SRSF2 mutations are more frequent in the secondary AML after MDS patients. Uh, however, these mutations were not prognostically significant. However, we did the multivariate analysis in specific subgroups like MDS versus secondary AML. And we found that NRAS and U2AF1 mutations are especially important in the MDS cohort, while complex karyotype and IDH2 mutations are especially important and have a negative prognostic impact in secondary AML patients. So we know several mutations that have a negative prognostic impact when patients are not transplanted. And now we found that for most of these mutations, this prognostic impact is not found when they are transplanted. So from this, uh, this data suggests that indeed uh, transplantation can alter the natural course of the disease. However, our next step to really formally and scientifically prove this is a, for example, a case control study or even a prospective study where we compare this and evaluate whether the survival is actually longer when patients get transplanted or when they have this negative prognostic uh, impact mutations. recommend for the doctors and the patient when they talk about whether the patient should undergo transplantation or not, that they include the new prognostic information, uh, NRAS mutation status, U2AF1, TP53 and IDH2, in addition to the known risk factors, for example, also cytogenetic information, especially complex karyotype, to make an informed decision about the treatment choice.